good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. As we talked about this morning, if you guys missed my video from earlier on the WWE figures we will be getting at San Diego Comic-Con this year and what I expect to see at Comic-Con this year, definitely go check out that video from this morning. We talked about all the figures we should be seeing, what I expect to see that we are going to be getting at San Diego Comic-Con. You know, this year it is very unique. Comic-Con is going to be very unique. They're using the hashtag Comic-Con at home. Due to the pandemic, SDCC was canceled, and so this year they're doing a, you know, big Comic-Con at home deal where they're going to have, like, live streams and releases over the internet and stuff like that on social media platforms and stuff like that. But today, it has been leaked. The WWE Elite exclusive, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive has been leaked to us, and I'm going to give it to you in this video. As I stated in that video, they did release, like, these early sneak peeks peaks and these uh, these kind of like teasers on the platform on social media and stuff they were sharing it around they said it was going to be a first time in the line they used this camo stuff going on on the platform as well in their photo that they used and they were talking about first time in the line and, and talking about how special this first time in the line was going to be and just you know everything about it this figure will be up for pre-order on entertainmentearth.com I do believe or entertainment earth you can pre-order it there's going to be a limited quantity on this figure but Let's go ahead and reveal it, guys. The SDCC exclusive for WWE figures this year from Mattel is going to be none other than Mr. T. Yes, that is correct. We have Mr. T here in this beautiful blue attire, as you guys can tell. Very sick box coming forward. It looks so sick. It says this figure stands six inches tall with deluxe articulation. It features Mr. T in his ring gear and comes with his signature gold chains and camouflage jacket. It will cost $30 and will be available for pre-order at Entertainment Earth. However, there are limited quantities of this figure. While Mr. T was a film and TV star appearing on the A-Team and in Rocky II, he was a major part of WWE, then WWF during the 80s. He teamed with Hulk Hogan, defeating Paul Orndorff and Roddy Piper at WrestleMania 1. He had a boxing match with Piper at WrestleMania 2 the following year, and in 2014, he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame Celebrity Wing. Now, that is all true statements right there, and this is pretty cool, man. I think this is pretty sick. I bet the younger generation probably doesn't really know who Mr. T is, but uh, on the back of the packaging, you guys will notice that it has an image of him, and it says, I pity the fool. It says, Mr. T's impact and importance to WWE cannot be overstated. It wasn't just that he main evented the very first WrestleMania as Hulk Hogan's tag team partner. It wasn't just that he was one of the biggest TV and film stars of the 80s. It wasn't just his unforgettable signature mohawk and overflow flowing gold chains. Mr. T was and is to this day a pop culture icon who attracted the attention of the entertainment world and catapulted WWE into the mainstream. In 2014, WWE inducted Mr. T into the Hall of Fame, making his mama proud. And if you guys have never seen you know, Mr. T or know who he is, but the best thing I can say is he used to be like, I pity the fool. His signature phrase was, I pity the fool. He was very entertaining. He was hilarious and just very iconic, man. He's very iconic. And WWE has always done with WrestleMania, they've always tried to go after fans who are not big wrestling fans. So the part-time fans, I guess you could call them. So to attract these, these part-time fans or these casual WWE slash wrestling fans instead of the diehard fans that you know, are probably watching this channel right now. They would go after celebrities. They would go after film stars. They would go after musicians, athletes, actors, and actresses to bring them into the product to get, you know, the the outsider, the, the person that doesn't watch WWE or wrestling on a daily basis or a weekly basis. They go out there and they use these these entertainers in order to get our attention to get you know people to tune into the product and so Mr. T was a very big deal back in the day and I still love this man to death I always used to love when Robot Chicken would plug him into their shows you know using his figures and you know making customs of him using them in the show I don't think they used customs though. I think they used official figures of him but this packaging looks sick AF I think this packaging is just unreal man I love the gold chains I love the red box the big elite collection logo on there like it's a like it's a pendant on the chain looks super sick uh, the the regular box with the picture of Mr. T and it says Mr. T there first time in the line and the figure itself I mean we got to get into the figure itself I know a lot of people aren't going to be you know a, a big time interested in this but it is very cool the gold boots the shimmer in the gold boots is super sick whatever gold paint they use for those boots 
is sick and I wonder it kind of looks like the boots are molded in that color which is kind of amazing it literally looks like it's actual gold so that's kind of cool that they were able to capture that in the boots the blue and white attire looks great the knee pads look great I like the skin tone we got going on I like the head sculpt I think it looks good the big arms and everything like that all the chains that this man comes with he's got his camo shirt going on his his belt going around there I mean, dude, he is looking fly. He's got the he's got the gold rings. He's got the gold bracelets. This figure is super badass, and I think I'm definitely gonna have to pre-order this thing when it goes live. I think it does go live at 11 a.m. Central Time. That will be 9 a.m. Pacific Time, and that of course is 12 p.m. Eastern. But this Mr. T looks very cool, man. I love the mohawk going on, the beard and everything. It, it looks so sick, man. I, I freaking love this. On the back of the packaging, you guys will notice it says Mr. T, 25 points of articulation. Warning, failure to purchase a Mr. T action figure may cause a lack of coolness. Mr. T pities the fool. That's absolutely hilarious. I think this is so sick, man. You got all the images of Mr. T all around it. I mean, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's just like the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from last year. You guys remember with the Slim Jim Macho Man. It seems like every San Diego Comic-Con Mattel WWE Elite that we've been getting in the last few years has something to do with pop culture and kind of unique outside-the-box flashbacks is kind of what it seems like. So we'll kind of have an idea of what they're going to do for next year. Um, unless they come back and try to do something more current. But this is sick, man. I mean, it's kind of insane when you think about how long ago the 80s were. I obviously did not grow up in the 80s. I was born in 96. So, you know, I didn't get to witness it live or anything. But I still know who Mr. T is. I, he was still a pretty big pop culture icon when I was growing up. Like, people know who he was. And, uh, you know, I, I always knew he, who he was because of his signature catchphrase. And, you know, just kind of playing him all the time and seeing him in, in references and stuff like that. But I like Mr. T. I've always liked him. I always thought he was really just badass. And then, you know, uh, the A-Team and stuff like that, being popular from that. I mean, he just, he's iconic, man. He is definitely iconic. Um, is it the best San Diego Comic-Con exclusive ever? How, I don't think so. But I still think it's sick. I still really like this release. And I'm going to definitely try to get my hands on this. And maybe we can bring him into the pick fed or something, man. I think that'd be really sick. But that is it, man. That is it for the Comic-Con exclusive, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figure that we got going on. If they put up any more images, or anything like that you may get another video out of me or some more news or some leaks or if they unveil some more stuff that i need to show to you guys i will most definitely be uploading another video talking about it but it was leaked here by the gamespot.com you know this is not supposed to go live for another few hours but uh it's been shared all over instagram so i'm not sure if they're going to come out and you know just go ahead and release the images because they want you know people to get in on it or whatever but it's, it's pretty much making its way all around the community now, so I mean, I, I figured I may, may as well go ahead and make the video, not wait on it, and if we get any more news, I will definitely put it up to you guys, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Any more news is leaked, I will be putting it up to you, but that is going to do it for this video for now. Go check out my San Diego Comic-Con 2020 video that is live right now as well. If you really want to pre-order one of these Mr. T figures, you're definitely going to have to be ready. I think the pre-order does go, the pre-order does go live at 9 a.m. Pacific time. That's 11 a.m. Central and 12 p.m. Eastern. So whatever your time zone is, get it right so that you will be able to pre-order this thing from Entertainment Earth. Just Google Entertainment Earth and I think the pre-order will go live. I'm going to do my best to get one of these as well because I really want to do a review for you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn Toys. What do you think of the Mr. T figure? Let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.